Hello and welcome to the April 2013 um, video interview with our healing arts practitioner staff. This month we're sitting down with Susan Mitchell and Susan, thank you so much for having the courage to sit in front of a camera for a few minutes and I appreciate it. I know it's not always the most comfortable thing, but um, I feel like this is such a great way for people to get to know the different people who are here at Kula and, and working in um, different capacities historically. Um, we've always done these interviews each month and, and put them in our newsletters for our yoga teachers and now that we just launched the expansion and we've added the treatment rooms and over uh, 60 healing arts services from acupuncture to psychotherapy, mental health practices and a variety of massages and a whole bunch of things and one of the things we're really excited about is to offer yoga therapy which is something that Susan does for Rupa Yoga Therapy which I'm sure you'll tell us about as well as uh, a therapeutic massage it's really based in you know healing arts and not just simply a relaxation massage but really working with people with issues and injuries in their body and it's um, such a delight to have you join Kula and thank you so much for being the first one to take the plunge for the video too maybe yeah for sure thank you I um sorry go ahead no I was just gonna ask you to maybe give us a sense of how you meandered into this realm of life and you know a little bit of your background in working in the healing arts yeah. well I think um, really it started just uh, like I guess a lot of people who you know work in the healing arts it really started with my own healing and my own interest in, in just healing myself and um, you know through through uh, breath work and through body different body work and massage and, and yoga and uh, so I um, um, you know just found myself drawn towards working with people and, and wanting to share you know the things that I had gotten from yeah. from those uh, different therapies and, and, and working with people and, and you know as a therapist I really think it's important to uh, to be able to get be in tune with the person that you're working with, and, and to really sort of feel their needs of what their you know their their body is um, is uh, needs to, to be able to heal. So uh, you know, I try and be in tune with each each person as I'm working with them, and, and bring in different modalities that they you know that, that they need different massage modalities to help their body you know just facilitate in their own healing. It's, it always strikes me that when I'm receiving an, a healing arts treatment or massage or something that when the practitioner it has their own spiritual practice and you know if they're practicing things like yoga, meditation, what have you, it seems like the work is coming from such a more um, you know intentional space and it's not just mechanical but really healing and I, I love that you touched on that because I feel like that's probably the heart of what you do is it it's probably is part of your practice yes. and you you also touched on another thing is that you tend to combine a lot of different types of work into the therapeutic massage I know that's one of the main things that you do so could you describe a little bit about what are the different elements of that and how you work through yeah. figuring it all out yeah um, so uh, I've done training in neuromuscular therapy so that's really getting into the mechanics of muscle and structure and, um, you know, working from the muscle's origin and insertion. And, um, so that's like a very mechanical type massage. Mm -hmm. But um, And then I combine that with just, um, um, you know, with some, with some stretching, with some Thai yoga stretches. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, deeper release, but also the gentle, you know, compassionate kind of uh, energy work too, to try and just this overall, you know, um, calming of your nervous system and, and uh, but also releasing those muscles, working, do, doing some trigger point therapy, mm -hmm. um, just a little bit of combining whatever that person, you know, whatever they need to, to you know, I see and, 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 and feel what's going on with, with that person, so just combining those different modalities, I think, too to help them 
to really let go. Because it's really about letting letting your body letting your body go. Letting you know, that person's doing their own healing, I'm facilitating that healing. So Yeah, that's you know, a I try and work with that. You know, the muscles will tell you. I feel like as a therapist the muscles really you know speaking. Yes, they do. They tell me what they need. <laughs> yeah. Which might sound a little funny, but it's it's um no, it doesn't. It's like yeah. it sounds right on. It's right. not like you're going in as the fixer. Right, exactly. I'm trying to work with that person, and with the breath, I bring that in too, into mm -hmm. my massage. Um, you know, the person to breathe and just really be more in touch with their own body. And I think my yoga training also has deepened mm -hmm. that of um, my my massage work as well. Yeah, just your awareness of the right. interconnectedness mm -hmm. and uh, right. of all these different right. elements. Right. That's fantastic. And and then you touch on yoga and you also offer the Svarupa yoga therapy. Can yes. you describe a little bit about what yeah. that is? Yeah. So Svarupa yoga is a style of yoga that focuses on releasing the muscles connected to your spine. So, um, you know, we use blankets and blocks and chairs and different mm -hmm. props to help support your body in poses so that you're able to soften and lengthen into the into the poses. So it's um, uh, it's the Hatha Yoga, it's Hatha Yoga poses but supported so your body can soften and lengthen and decompress mm -hmm. into the poses. So the yoga therapy is a one-on-one -on -one session of that core spinal release. So it reaches into your body at a deeper, at a deep, a deep level in the, in the center part of your body in your spine. So mm -hmm. those um, internal tensions that hold that hold deep in, in your body. So massage can, you know, you're releasing muscle and you're releasing connective tissue, but then this root yoga helps to, the therapy really helps to reach in deeper into your body and, and release those muscles that are connected to your spine, your core spinal tension. It, it sounds almost, just the way you're describing it, like a, um, a more specified form of restorative. Is that similar or no with the props and things? Well, it has been uh, um, related to restorative yoga, but it's not a restorative yoga. It's, um, it is, uh, we do hold the poses for, for a little longer uh -huh. of a period of time, and um, which they do in restorative yoga. Right. Um, and um, so... <coughs> It really is instead of, uh, so we're, we're bringing the angles in, in a little uh, closer into the body. So instead of, um, instead of getting into more into the hip ligaments, we're bringing, mm -hmm. bringing the angles a little further in so that you're reaching into your spine and, and releasing, mm -hmm. you know, using the angles of your legs to decompress into your hip joints. Interesting. And, um, you know, as you, we, we start the class, I'm, I haven't started classes, but that's something that I've I'm, I want to do here, Yay. and I'm excited to do here. Do another today. video interview. I'm so for, yeah. excited to share <laughs> this style of yoga here because it's there's only, you know, it's very popular in the Northeast and in California, but there really is only a few people doing it here in Florida. So yeah, it's just I'm really wonderful. excited because for me, going back to my own healing, for me, it what it gave me is a way to be able to not to have to rely on, you know, somebody else to have to oh my hips out or. My back hurts. It's you know, empowering. I can, I can, it's empowering to be able to go home and have a practice that you can do, lay on the floor, and, and you can just, ah, you know, help release your body and, and something that you can do for yourself. And then, of course, you come to class and you learn a little bit more, mm -hmm. or you get a private session. The, the private yoga therapy is very, very, um, very profound effects on your body of just releasing this, that yeah. core. And, and, um, and it just feels so wonderful. Because the more, you know, your body uh, releases and lets go, you know, the less um, pain, obviously, you have in your body. But also, sure. too, it helps to, you know, your mind to be a little quieter and, and easier and not so stressed. It just has helped me amazingly. I just, I'm, I feel so passionate about sharing it, and I can't wait to It sounds amazing, yeah, and, and I can feel your passion, and I'm sure it comes through to everybody watching this too so thank you so much for being here welcome aboard and i'm excited for everybody to experience your services that you're offering thank you, you bet i'm gonna stay mm -hmm.